Hello and welcome back to the Dusty Ranch. It is a mighty windy day today and I'm going to try to do a overview of all the hydraulic functions on this LT40 Super Hydraulic. So join me and we'll see what we can see. All right, so first things first on this unit, as you may have seen in a previous video when I had to do a little maintenance on it, the hydraulics will not work unless the head is resting on that copper bar right there. Head has to be in this position in order for the hydraulics to work. Key on, let's do a couple of little experiments here. The first thing that I found interesting about this was this is your hydraulic log clamp. This is the second one is up, down. The first one, let me put it back up for you. The first one is forward and reverse. Up is in, down is out. Now, the interesting thing to me, the third one is your log clamp. Now, what I didn't realize, and I like this feature because it makes a lot of sense. Um, well, part of me likes this feature, part of me does not like this seat feature, but it is what it is. It is a safety device, but the third lever. That's held up until the log turner claw comes up. The log stops come up and then the log turner comes up. I do like that because it ensures that you will never turn a log into nothingness onto your axle. But I do not like the feature because it does not allow you to work them independently, which is necessary sometimes. It also requires you to pay very close attention that you do not lower your uh, log turner too far or raise your log stops too far. Let me show you what I mean. See what I just did? I put the log turner down, but it's so fast that your log stops start to go down as well. The inverse of that is your log clamp, your log... Um, stops come up and then that log let me put the clamp down for a second then the log turner comes up without you wanting it to so here you are boom and then if you can see it let me see, look on the screen here if you can see it and i'll exaggerate it a bit when you're in that position your log could get hung up on that log clamp and if your log is already on there, or if you're fixing to put a big log on and you're not paying attention and that happens, you can find yourself in kind of an aggravating situation. So I kind of wish that that was two separate operations, but I also, you just have to get used to that kind of thing. Something I, it's just something I did not realize when I purchased the mill. That's what I mean by that log clamp coming up put that back down then you have another thing to be cautious of if you're reaching down here and not looking and you accidentally raise this guy instead of turning your log or raising your log stops then you have the problem of you're cutting the cant on a diagonal I did that on about my sixth log and I learned my lesson hopefully it's not repeated uh, these are excellent because they roll you put both of them up and you can roll your log forward and backwards. I like that a lot. But it's also something that's a little bit tricky that you've got to watch out for. Because if that one over there is up and you don't realize it, or even if it's up just a little bit, like right there, then you're cutting a log that is not square. So that was the operations of the fourth and fifth lever. Now this 
The last lever is your log loading arms. Another thing to be cautious of, once you have loaded your log, firstly, make sure before you start to load your log, your log stops are up, otherwise your log could potentially roll onto your axle. That's a whole nother issue. We've seen that before and that's not fun. Let's assume we did everything right. I made this mistake several times already. We've done everything right. We have the log stops up and we have just loaded the log and we're excited about cutting that log. So we go ahead and raise our log clamps. We have that log clamped and we start sawing. The problem is, and I'll run this mill head forward. The problem is when we have our mill head out here, and we're cutting a log maybe that size, we're going to make contact and it's not gonna let us go through. Now the real issue is not that because you bump it, you realize it, okay, I'm going to lower my log, my log arms here. Well, that's great, but now you've, you're not making contact with that copper rail. So, if you've got a little bit of gravity on it, that's great, it will lower down very slowly, sometimes. Get you to where you can make your pass on through and you can see how slow the gravity is taking hold of those it's just releasing the hydraulic pressure on it you're not actually doing anything to the hydraulic the pump is not working uh, you're just bleeding that hydraulic line out so you can go ahead and make a cut hopefully but that can be a pain in the tail like I say I've experienced that a couple of times already now, you make that cut, and you come back to touch the rail, and then you can lower the load arm. Just like normal. One thing that I failed to mention that I do not like, I wish that the operations uh, would, would work at the same time. If you've got, if you're running two-handed on this thing, you can go up and back or down and forward at the same time. I like that. I like that a lot. However, however, I cannot operate the log turner and the log clamp at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. I'm operating, I'm raising, I'm moving the log clamp forward in the forward motion and I'm going to try to raise the log turner at the same time. They do not operate simultaneously. The pump will not do both of them which makes it aggravating when you are turning a log and you need both of them. So be aware of that. That was a shocker to me. As you can see, the load arms and the clamp work simultaneously. Both front and rear um, tow boards will work simultaneously. Tow board and loading arms work simultane simultaneously, however slower. Let's see what else. Front and rear. Let's see if tow boards and clamp or, or uh, tow boards and turning arm work. No, they will not work. So it may be that the turning arm actually has so much hydraulic pressure needs so much hydraulic pressure that it will not work with anything else. So let's try it with the loading arms. 
uh, loading arms work before the turning claw does. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Dusty Ranch. I hope that you gained some value from watching this video. If so, please consider subscribing, tap that bell notification, hit the like button, and throw any comments, concerns, or questions you have in that comment section. As always, until we see you next time, keep it dusty. Oh, P.S. If you want to see a hydraulic race between a super model and a standard duty model, go over to the old jar head or to the old man and the sawmill and pick on those two guys over there and see if we can dare them into a hydraulic race competition. I'm interested to see how much faster the super hydraulics really are from the standard hydraulics. So until next time, you guys keep it dusty.